Corn School on RealAgriculture.com is brought to you by Headline Amp Fungicide and Pride Seeds. Bernard Tobin here on the Corn School, joined today by Ben Rosser, the uh, Omafra Corn Lead. Sir, how's it going? Not too bad. How are you, Bernard? I'm pretty, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Um, it's May 10th, and uh, the rain is here again. Uh, Ontario is pretty wet. Not much is happening, um, and we always have that conversation about corn hybrids, switch dates, how much yield is happening. Um, I guess before we get to that, what are you seeing out there? What's, what's, you know, what's happening? Yeah, so obviously it's been a frustrating spring for growers. Um, you know, it seems like we get rainfall and we had a couple days of sun and we get more rain after that. Uh, you know, there's been a little bit of corn in around pockets of the province, but certainly, you know, the majority of the crop is still yet to be planted here in yeah. Ontario. Yeah. So, um, it, as I say, it's May 10th. Let's talk about yield potential. Um, we, we, we've talked about it in the past. That May 10th, yield potential starts to slide at that point. Maybe a little bit. So, uh, so Dave Hooker and Greg Stewart had done some good work from 2006 to 2009. They had three locations, one at Alora, one at Exeter, and one at Ridgetown. And they looked at, you know, if you look at just planting date, what is the difference in yield potential for going, for delaying planting? And again, this is assuming you're planting into good fit condition, so it's just a planting date effect. Um, but for all three of those locations, it was kind of surprising. I think there was a fairly large, fairly long plateau for planting date and yield potential. Um, if you looked at the Allura data, you know, you still had about 95% yield potential by the time you got to, uh, to May, uh, May 20th. At the Exeter location, still 95% yield potential by May 25th. Yeah. And when we looked at Ridgetown, it was, you know, even by the end of May, uh, still 95% yield potential there. It's not like it's a linear decline from, you know, May 1st, um, but you've got a bit of a plateau and then you start to, to de decline, certainly after that 95% date. Yeah. Now, um, as I said, we've got a couple of weeks, pretty solid here. Um, and if we get that corn in, in fit ground, the summer will dictate what happens from there. But we also talk about switching dates and uh, we put some work on the board here. And uh, when, you know, producers should consider if it stays wet, dropping those heat units. Right. So obviously the question there is, you know, if I stick with my hybrid, maybe the yield potential that adapted hybrids a little bit better. So, but obviously the later you go, um, you know, your questions are about, you know, having wet corn to deal with in the fall and then maybe some maturity issues, lighter test weights that are going to cost you as well. So this data was adapted from the, from the U.S. Um, but it, it's from a big data set that kind of put all those factors together that said, at what point does switching to a shorter season hybrid, maybe giving a little bit of extra yield up, um, more than pay for the risk for higher moisture and potentially later test weights in the fall. So in that data set, uh, adapted for Ontario, they suggest that, you know, if you're less than 2,800 crop heat units, you're probably considering switching around May 15th to May 20th. If you're 2,800 to 3,200 crop heat units, you're probably in the May 20th to May 25th time frame. And if you're greater than 3,200 heat units, you're probably considering not switching until May 30th uh, to even early June. And you know those are guidelines, so maybe it depends a little bit on the grower. If you're you know in the, the lighter range of these crop heat unit ranges, or if you're really sensitive to uh, you know high moisture corn in the fall, drying costs, being able to get on the fields early, maybe you want to consider switching a little bit on the earlier side of these suggestions. Hey, um, great insights, Marie. We are in the corn school today. We've got our chalkboard out. Um, uh, we'll figure out what happens, Ben. Uh, hopefully, it'll dry up and uh, we'll get these corn planters rolling. Absolutely. Awesome. Good to see you, Barry.